back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming my June favourites for you. Um, it's the 26th of June, which means that holidays is in like three days and I'm so excited. Um, so I just thought I'd film and get up some June favourites for you. I love filming and watching favourite... Sorry, what? Um, I love watching and filming favourites videos, so I just thought I would keep you guys updated on what I've been loving. So, yeah, basically that's it. Let's just jump right in and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you... So I'm going to talk about food I've been loving. I've been loving two things, and they're on the more healthier... To an extent, because I'm not a healthy person side of food but one of the first things I've been loving is Sarah's Day protein balls um these are the cacao salted caramel ones I think she only has one kind um first off the packaging is so like I don't know it's just so aesthetic like I love it like this is my so so Sarah's Day is a um YouTuber she's from Australia as well her name's Sarah Stevenson, I think. I have no clue. She's like a fitness YouTuber. I'm kind of swaying. I'm really sorry about that. Um, she's a fitness you, 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 oh. She is a fitness YouTuber. I love her to bits. She's really good. She does amazing workouts. If you're into kind of like more fitness, um, definitely go check her out. But Sarah's Day, love them. Her protein balls are so yum. There's five in a packet. Um, they come in like little individual packets. Just so good because whenever I go to the gym, like before school or something like that, I can just kind of like shove one in my bag. I love them. They're so good. I don't usually like protein balls, but these are really, really good. So I would highly recommend these. And you can get them at Fitness First and like this certain health food store and online as well. So yeah. And then second thing I've been loving is Loving Earth Chocolate. This is the um, salted caramel um, one. And so it's like not actual chocolate, it's just kind of like a supplement thing, I guess. This lighting's really weird. I'm like really glowy and I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is not bad for you at all. It's vegan, gluten-free, cane sugar-free, um, compostable, pa compostable, compostable, compostable packaging. I probably got it right the first time, honestly, but honestly, I probably didn't at the same time. Um, soy free and GMO free, not that I have any idea what that is. I've gone way into an... Okay, now that's not even English, okay? I just, I can't even translate that. I've gone way too in depth about this. It's just like a healthy, uh, chocolate supplement. It's really yummy. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's like that. It's kind of expensive. It's like $7 for a block and you get like two more rows than that. But it's so yum and I can honestly get by with only having two squares, which is weird because with normal chocolate, I have to have like a whole big block. Like I have an issue, but you know, we're just not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the fact that every time my mum walks into my room, she finds a whole block of smallest chocolate on my bed. So yeah, anyway, I can have really good self-control with that. I can have two blocks and be like really good. It's really, really, really rich, but I would highly recommend that if you're kind of like you love sweet things, but you're kind of leaning off like chocolate and stuff. So, yeah, I love it and I would highly recommend. Um, next I'm going to talk about is makeup. I'm going to talk about this really quickly because I talk about it like every favourites, but I just have to mention it because I love it so much. Um, obviously, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Setting Spray. I just love it, basically. Um, there's not really much more I can say other than just I love it. It's amazing. It makes my makeup literally like... I went to my friend the other day, I was wearing powder and I said it with that, like, matte powder is really powdery. And I said it with that and I went up to her and I was like, am I wearing liquid or am I wearing powder? And she's like, liquid, obviously. And then I was like, no, it's powder. And she was like, no way. Because it just, it makes it literally melt into your skin. And, like, if you put it on top of powder, which you probably would, it just, like, literally makes it look like it's your skin. Like, I can get away with wearing powder at school because... When I spray that, it just looks like my skin. So, yeah, I don't know. It just really melts into your skin. It makes you look really dewy and hydrated with still keeping the coverage. I just, I love it. Like, it just makes my makeup look so seamless. And as I always say, I could not do my makeup without it. So, and the next product I'm going to talk about is the Elf, 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 Elf. What is wrong with me? The Elf, now I'm kind of questioning if I'm saying it right. Elf or Elf? Elf clear lash and brow gel so on one side it's like um lashes and the other side is brows i think it's like the same thing but i usually just use the brow side um i got this from kmart i think you can now get it from target as well in australia 
and Target in America you can get it. Um, it's really, really good. It's pretty cheap. It's not as cheap in Australia as it is in America, but it's still pretty cheap. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. I feel like it holds my brows in place all day, and, like, if I, like, brush them so they're standing up, they'll stay standing up all day, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, I really, really do like that, and for the price, it's, like, the price is right. Like, it's so good. And then, last makeup product is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age um, Eraser Eye Concealer. It's kind of got the squidgy bit on the top, and I use this for spot concealing for school. Um, it's a really good match. It has really, really, really good coverage. It's just, I don't know, I really like it. I feel like it blends really well. It can, it looks like skin. It's got a really great shade range. I know, I just really recommend that. It's still like $20 in Australia, which is a bit like, mm, if that makes sense. But, um, it's still pretty cheap compared to like, my Urban Decay one's $50, like. Then, last but not least, I'm going to talk about clothes. So, so lately, I have been loving these leggings from Cotton On. They will be in my winter. Yeah, winter haul. Um, I got these on sale from Cotton On Body. They look a little much on camera, but when you're wearing them, they don't. Um, they fit really nicely. They're a really nice, lightweight material. Okay, I'm really not comfortable right now. They're a really nice, lightweight material. Um, I love the pattern on. It looks, as I said, busy now, but it looks really good on. It's a great fit. It comes like, it leaves a little bit of my ankle, so it's not like all the way down that it like tucks into my shoes or anything. It's a really good length. I love working out in these, and whenever I like have a choice of leggings, I always choose this. Like, I love them so much. And then I got the matching crop top, but as you can see, it's like a really busy pattern. So when I wear them together, I like literally look weird. Like, I'm just... I look like I'm wearing a sheet. It's weird. It's really weird. Weird? Weird. But I do love both of these pieces separately. I can't say together, but separately, I really love them. Like, I'll wear plain black leggings. Pl that was really weird. Plain black leggings with this crop top and plain crop black crop top with the um, leggings. But yeah, I just love this. It fits really nicely. It's got a really nice back. It's a nice pattern. And yeah, it's just really pretty. It looks really good on as well. So yeah, that was from cotton body as well cotton on body as well obviously and it was also on sale oh my god ew what is that oh i got like glue on my uniform i'm not going to talk about that oh i missed a makeup okay well also for makeup i got the um i sound like i'm doing a haul um i got this these holidays and i haven't opened it yet but i have used it a million times it's my favorite lipstick but i should like keep it so it looks new, but I just kind of keep it in its box because, like, it's my fair and I don't want it to get ruined. So this is the MAC Yash lipstick. If you can see that, it's a really, really pretty nude. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm not wearing anything. But I love it. It's my favorite nude. It's so... MAC lipstick smells so good. Like, so good. But it just smells really good. Why am I talking about its scent? That's so unimportant. Um, It's a really, really, really nice um nude. I also have, um, that's not the right one. That's not the right one either. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, there you go. Um, Matte Honey Love, which is quite similar, but it's a little pinker. And so this is my favorite for a while. And then I tried Yash and it's just, I'm not very pink, like undertone. So pink doesn't really complement my skin tone very much. And so when I switched to Yash, it was a little less pink. So it really complements my skin tone. I know it's like my perfect nude. I love it so much. And then back to clothing. I have one more clothing item and it is this. Also from Condom Body. Also got it this month. But I, I have lived in this, honestly. It's this big pink puffer jacket. Um, I love it. It's honestly so warm. It was like $30 or something like that. It's so nice. Like it just fits. Ignore my pajama pants. It just fits really nicely. I don't know. I love it. It's also got like a hidden hood which is like really cool, but it just fits really nicely. It's really warm. And yeah, I like the color as well. Like I'm not, my friend thinks I look really bad in pink. So thanks Emily. But um, it's more like a peachier pink. And I don't know, I just love it. I love the color pink as well. Pink and yellow, like anything, those colors, I'm like mine, but that was really weird. But I just love this. It keeps me really warm. I can snug up tight. It's also like, watch this. Like, it, like, it's, like, really, really, like, puffy. Like, it's just, I don't know, I love it. And as, as I said before, there's a hidden hood, like, in this bit here, which I think is so handy because I'm, like, 
It doesn't look as good if it had a hood, but like the fact that it's hidden is like, does that make sense? Anyway, um, I think that's all for my June favorites. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.